lot of really good feel for you guys, but the mentality seems that you guys want to be like a ground and pound type running team. How does that sort of, you know, feed into it though with, with such great skill position guys? Don't you, you kind of feel like you want to air it out a little bit more? Um, I want to do whatever works. And uh, if, if we're going to be a grounded out type team, I know that's going to open up the pass, especially if we're doing that successfully. So the play action pass should be there. Um, a lot of that stuff should be, should be good. So um, like, like I said, I want to do whatever works. And then going out here to the play action pass last time, uh, you guys lose Zach Swanson, but yeah, who knows? They went to the Red Marshall made the last play. I think uh, Rob, 6 9 guy, uh, tight ends uh, as well. And Evan Butts. And, and, and Evan Butts. Uh, you guys have some good tight ends as, as well. Do you guys feel like you should utilize that position more or want to use them? Yeah, we definitely want to. Um, those guys have all had a great spring. And we've, uh, throughout spring ball, um, and then we use them in a, in a positive way. You know, Kanan last year talked about how you guys needed to develop an offensive identity this year. Do you feel like that was being a big emphasis this spring? I don't know if it was an emphasis more so as it was just, you know, we, we decided that, you know, we want to be able to run the ball. We're going to get up under center a little bit more. And that kind of established itself as our right. um, We want to be a, a pro-style team. And, and getting under center, we're able to get some play action pass and that kind of thing. It kind of helps that out. <laughs> what are you going to work on now? What are you going to focus on now going into the summer? Um, I mean, there's a lot of things to work on. You know, you've got to work on movement in the pocket. You know, work on your check downs, uh, reading defenses. And it's just a matter of getting more reps and experience and okay. <laughs> taking it off from there. You feel comfortable with where you are? I mean, you've been here a while now. You feel comfortable with where you are in the office? Um, I mean, you can't really feel if you're if you're ever content, then you're not you're not working hard enough. But um, I've the progress I've made, I would say I'm, I'm light years ahead from where I was last year. But it's still not anywhere where I want to be, and uh, there's a long ways to go. And um, we're working a lot. We're working really hard this summer. Thanks, man. Thank you. So that's the play of the offense today. Just your thought. It seemed like early on there was a good rhythm going. Yeah, there was. You know, there was a there was a really good rhythm. And, uh, we had the run game going. We had the run game going pretty much the whole scrimmage. You know, um, uh, it helps out with our play action. Um, it's, it's, we, we had a flow in the beginning, kind of died at the end, but it's something you know, we have to work on, and uh, that's what we're going to work on this summer. Um, you guys got a, a lot of uh, big physical receivers. Uh, you had TJ to the mix. What type of different element does he bring to the uh, You see what he can add. He, you know, he, he ran the ball great today. He caught the ball great today. He made people miss. He broke tackles. and you know That's all you can really ask for out of wide receiver. He has a, um, he's a full, complete player, and we're, we're very happy to have him. Uh, talk about the play of the defense. It seemed like the offense had a couple of good drives early, but you guys kind of took control as the scrimmage went on. Uh, we just had to buckle down and, and get our game back and just play the defense that's called and just be fast and be smooth in our in our defense. How do you feel like you're growing into the role now, having to be the guy calling the signals in addition to you making a lot of plays? Um, I think it's, it's coming to me smoother. I mean, sometimes it's a little bump in the road, but I mean, that's what film's for and that's what's practice for. So we just got to get it corrected on film and practice and then get ready for Saturday games. So what between now and, and August do you do to get ready uh, for, for the fall? Uh, just keep working on my defense ability and, and study film more and just keep my head into the film and just go out there keep competing with my defense and just keep working. How would you assess how you've done and also your defense overall has done this spring getting getting you know better each day? So uh, as a group, we, we're getting better and better each day no matter what it's from, from just individuals to teams to 7-on-7. Seven seven. We're all, we, we are all out here competing for just a defense, just playing as a unit, so that's what we all working on. Being a veteran college player, but being new at UVA, how do you kind of strike that balance when you come in and not try to act like you know everything? You're, you're, you're a new guy, yet you've been around the block. Um, well, I just feel like I have, I have a point to prove, you know, I, and, and it's people, you know, there's hype around me or whatever, but I feel like, you know, you got to gain respect to your teammates before you can do anything, and respect to the coaching staff, and so my ultimate goal after being healthy was to make sure that when we cut the film on, everybody knows, okay, well, yeah, TJ's a ball player, and, and he's going to be uh, somebody big for us. Is there, you know, some pressure on you for this season? It's your last one. You sort of, like, are coming into a new spot. I mean, does it feel like that? Um, maybe when I sit down at home, and close my eyes a little bit, but when I'm out here, like I said, these guys make it really easy. You know, we're all out here, we love each other, we're having fun. So 
it makes the process and, and all the, I guess, the nervous energy and, and everything like that um, kind of goes away. You guys talked about trying to develop a identity as a power running team. You feel like you made steps in that regard today or throughout the spring? Yeah, definitely throughout the spring, 100%. Um, just different schemes, different, you know, guys are just playing which is so much better. They made, you know, their, their top, their, their best from last fall is now their average for the spring. We just need to continue to you know, bump that up now. We need our best from the spring to be our average from the fall. So that's where we're at with that. We're just trying to fly off the ball and hit the other What's the kind of impetus for all that? It seems like it's a team-wide thing. Yeah, really. I mean, Coach Coach Borg is a huge part of it. Just his attitude, transitioning from us, taking us, you know, to, to believe in ourselves and really know what we can do. And he's confident in us. And it really just helps build confidence in ourselves. And, you know, if we're doing it, it's easy for the backs to do it. It's easy for the receivers to do it. So, really, it all starts with us. And if we continue to do it, the whole offense. All the hard times you guys went through with the injuries last year is actually going to help you. Yeah, yeah, we really have. I mean, that was yeah, it was unfortunate last year we were sliding around a lot, but this year we have we have guys ones and twos that have played significant game time against you know, biggest team, biggest teams on our schedule: Florida State, Miami, Pitt, Tech, all those teams. So we've had a lot of guys play, and now they're fighting for jobs just to get those reps, those same reps. So it really creates a good environment for them.